All right, you guys know how you want to get Xfinity TV on your Comcast and plus your mobile device. Uh, look up Comcast on your iTunes store and your mobile devices. It should work on iPhone, iPod Touch. I have this on a second generation iPod Touch. That's my Xfinity mobile. I'm going to show you how to do the Xfinity TV. You click this here. You go in here. I'm going to show you this in a minute. And make sure, like, um, if you have your account, yeah, make sure this is set on your default uh, DVR1. DVR1 will be your default one when it does. So I'm continuing right now. Yeah, because you can also record your channels, your favorite shows. You can do this when you're not even home right now. As long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G connection, you should be able to do it. And the cool thing about it, cool thing about this, I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to change it to a channel. Like I can click on the side right here. And it's going to go to PBS right now. See? It's just switched to channel right now. I just switched it just a minute ago. Also, like, if you want to record a show, you have to click on this. Like, here. And if you want to record it right now, you hit record and it'll actually record it. And you can check it a little bit later. I know people are doing a lot of this stuff. I'm going to show you about the channel system. This is where you go. You can punch any number you want. I'm going to... And usually we'll go like that in a second. And should be doing it. I'm connecting this to the Wi-Fi right now. And just hit done or go to the channel. Hit done. Yeah, because usually we'll go to any random channel in the system. Hold on a second. I'm going to try this again. And it should be going to the channel right now. Hold on a second. But I'm trying to get to a random channel. I'll put channel 4. Wait. Yeah. Let's put channel um, 136. And it'll take me there in a second. And it says watch channel, hit watch channel. And I should go right there. And it should be able to switch. See, just like that. But with this the mobile device, you can actually do about cool quite anything on this. And you can also set settings. And you can actually record your stuff. It'll actually show you how to record your TV shows. Or you can search up stuff like your show in here. And it'll actually take you to the thing you want to do. I'm going to show you um, the mobile of that. Because you have to have a Comcast account with this, the Xfinity mobile app. What you got to do, um, you can check your email, your digital voice. It'll have voicemail, everything. It also has got texting, uh, free texting in it too. Because the text well, you get with Comcast with the service. You can actually activate your texting. You can actually text someone online to any phone in the world in the United States. The digital voice is quite good. But what that is, it's what it does. But it's actually got all these phone numbers right here. But who cares? These are a bunch of random garbage numbers. Don't worry about that. But... These are actually what, the, what you got to do. Like, this is all your outgoing calls, whether it was sent, voicemail, anything. You can also go to home. And messages is probably you got to go to. Let me look. Yeah, messages you have to go to. Yeah, because you can actually do it um, on anything you want to do. Type uh, anything to the source of the phone number. Then you put this down in this source here. That's where you go to the message. I didn't want to show anybody the phone numbers and stuff online. Because I don't want nobody to see. But I was just trying to show you an idea. You put the phone number of your contact. Like in the iPod Touch. Like if you have an iPhone. Just put any contact with the person's name. Like who are on your list. And you press that little X up there. The little blue mark. Then it'll actually. If they have texting on their cell phone. You can actually do it. Also you can speak it by voice right here. If you have one of those. Um microphones built in your like 
For an iPod Touch, you probably have to get one of those headset jacks with the microphone that is built into it. So you can get one of those headphone jacks with the built-in microphone for like five bucks at any local store, probably ten to twenty dollars or fifteen dollars, and you'd be able to talk on anything on Skype and all that stuff. And plus, you can write and text words with that too. Probably that's what you can do. Yeah, and also you type a message of your characters and stuff. Then when you send it, it'll send the way it is. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So make sure you look for up uh, Xfinity mobile app. Xfinity. But you could type in Comcast to find it. Xfinity, um, Xfinity TV is what you want to have. Yeah. Look that up. Xfinity TV. And Xfinity uh, mobile. And those are the things you need when you get your Comcast system. But you have to activate it. Make sure you have your... Um, if you can't get an email account from your Comcast and stuff, call your local Comcast and provide your account number and all that stuff. And they usually will tell you what it's under by and all that stuff. And that's how you get it all activated. They'll show you how to activate all that cool stuff. So you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, hope this actually helps. So it should be able to work on iPhones, iPod Touches, and iPads. It should be doing the same thing. Look up those things like I was telling you. And you'll be able to find it. If you can't find it, just look, just type Comcast and you'll be able to find it that way. But you can also just look up the word Xfinity. And that's how you do it. So have a good one. I hope you guys, I just want to show you the review how it works, how the Xfinity TV and mobile, um, Xfinity mobile, how it works. So it's pretty cool. And let me tell you something. Uh, the cool thing about that. You can program the Xfinity TV like your, your recording box. You can put it on uh, any number of those cable boxes you have. If you have like four or five of them, you can switch each one when you're in that um when you're in that um the Xfinity TV app in there, and you can switch on all of them if you want. You just have to click by each one and do the recording. It's like you can set it as your, your default uh, DVR on each one of them. You can do one of them each time, and that's how you record all the cool stuff. So hope this helps. So, rate, comment. Uh, so, you guys have a good one. And I'd like to say shots out. Thanks to you all out there. And have a wonderful day.